Path of Exile was in maintenance mode for five years. For five years they've had enough changes to completely rework how game plays, to fix many and many problems that, that game has, and to enrich an experience of players acro all across the board, and for five years they were storing those changes for Path of Exile 2, probably reworking many of those things on fly with how it will work whenever they first wanted to make the game an extension of Path of Exile 1 and to have both campaigns in one place and after that they've decided to uh, redone the whole game from scratch and make it a, a completely separated experience which yes didn't really made a lot of favor for Path of Exile 1. So what we do have in Path of Exile 1 is regular updates that give us some additional content to the game but there's one interesting thing that I've that I've um, observed for the um, past month that I was playing the game and that never really hit my um, hit my thoughts as much before uh, they've announced uh, separation of two uh, versions of games. We were playing probably from 60 to 80 percent the same maps in our atlas for the last four years. Um, it's not like they don't add any maps to the game in terms of expanding the roster of uh, Atlas. They do add two or three or five from time to time. Uh, depends on the league. Uh, depends on the scale of content that they are um, that they are giving us. But still, for yeah, for four to five years, the mo uh, most of the maps are kind of the same and they are the reskinned versions of maps that we have from campaign. They are somewhat redone versions of maps that we do have um, yeah, in campaign and they are, there may be two or three or four uh, different versions from di with different lightning, uh, the lightning or uh, maybe some shades of colors being changed, maybe some additional uh, bosses or mobs added to those maps, but it's nothing really n new in terms of we didn't have just just think about it for a second. Uh, whenever we were having um, our delve our Alva expansions, our Forbidden Masters rework, the, those were very big uh, changes to the game. Those were core changes and especially with how crafting was um, changed, with how Betrayal gave, uh, gave us Veiled modifiers and how we uh, look for those uh, for the recipes uh, in, uh, and and stuff like that, so there were there were way more changes changes prior to first ExileCon to the game, and whenever they've uh, announced, so first ExileCon was four years ago in 2019, and then they already had a version of Path of Exile 2, which had the conceptual changes to the game that were. Um, that were inspired to create new systems and replace old systems to completely um, reinvigorate the game, to completely, um, yeah, just breathe the new life into it. And those were socket system, those were um, some additions to uh, our visuals in the game, but it's not the main part, of course. Um, new ascendancies, of course, so many things that would have increase the scope of the game and many things that would have fixed things that are either broken or they are not really work that well. Okay, and for four years, and why do I say for five years we do have a maintenance mode? Because prior to the announcement of Path of Exile 2, of course, developers already had in mind the systems that they are gonna introduce on the ExileCon itself. So the beta, for, or not the beta, but demo version of Path of Exile four years ago already existed and already have been coded, which means that the idea of them replacing sockets, replacing uh, link systems, and yeah, completely removing it from the items uh, was prior was uh, already in their minds prior to that. So closer probably to five or more years. And uh, as we've uh, heard in Path in Excel on ExileCon 2, they've had the spirit idea 
way for way longer than a couple of years already which changes how you interact with mana changes how you interact with the resource and it adds the resource to your gameplay currently what we do have in path of exile we don't really have a resource we, we either do have an infinite resource or we are struggling with our resource and we need to find a way how to um, how to have an, an, an eternity of our mana being available for us. So basically you either go for Eldritch Battery or you go for some crazy life lead, mana leech or you go for crazy mana regeneration rate um, and you want probably to reserve most of your mana or you go with life tap and you use your uh, life instead of mana even if you are gonna lose some damage for that basically your mana is not a resource your mana is a problem that you want to solve with your character because otherwise the game doesn't really function that well because if you do have a situation where you don't have a resource to use in path of exile well you're dead because all the damage from the enemies is way too bursty and the only um, the only <laughs> good answer to, to the damage of your enemies is your damage. So basically you want to one-shot your enemies before they have an ability to strike you. And if that's not the case and you can't one-shot the, the enemy, probably that enemy is either one, there's only one or two of enemies like that and then you're dealing with mechanics. And, pro and, and quite often these situations are against pinnacle bosses or, or maybe very, very powerful rare monsters. Uh, but in general, you can't really have any situations in combat whenever you don't have your uh, active resource available and you can't leech life from enemies, you can't de-damage them down. Uh, because if there's, especially if it's in a situation where you're um, surrounded by, by many enemies um, with a high density of monsters that we do have in Path of Exile and you don't have your resource available you, you basically you just can't press your buttons no um, movement skills no uh, active damaging abilities you'll probably get shredded pretty fast I'm not talking about the most defended characters I'm talking more about regular um, still good characters still good builds but just regular builds that aren't uh, broken and that aren't the uh, top of the meta and that is a problem that is a problem that you don't have and the developers themselves themselves acknowledge that it is the case uh, and they want to change it that's why they're introducing spirit in the second game but the the main the main point that i want to uh, get in here is not that the mana bad spirit good we need spirit asap it's not that we need the socket changes asap though we probably do need that um, the main thing that i want to say is that whenever we've heard that path, that path of exile 1 and path of exile 2 will be a separate games um, there were many um, arguments there were many thoughts in of in people's minds that uh, probably path of exile 1 will be in maintenance mode quite soon whenever path of exile 2 launches they will not update poe 1 as regularly um, and that's quite a yeah that's a valid concern by any means but what i want to say is that we was in 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 somewhat something similar to maintenance mode for path of exile 1 for the last three, four, five years. And people don't really bash on GGG that much, and GGG are a very good company. I love them and I love their products. People don't bash on them that much because we still have plenty of content. We still have regular updates with leagues in place, and our experience is pretty good with, with the game. But it could have been way better. It could have been way more. And it's kind of a... I understand why they want to do the second game to um, just basically market it to everyone who will never play Path of Exile 1 because they've tried 5 or 10 years ago and they didn't like it because it was completely, um, it, it wasn't the case, it wasn't similar to what we do have now and they want to preserve both um, different experiences um, in PoE 2 as way as like slower game and Path of Exile 1 being more um, rushed and uh, without limits game but still if you think about three or four years of your life you were playing 
really, really dumbed down version of a game that you could have been played, that you could have been playing. And basically, if, if there was 20 or 30 developers working on Path of Exile 1, and there was 100 of developers who were designing and thinking and solving problems for Path of Exile 2, and it will come out quite soon. It will do it wouldn't have as much content and it, it will be something different from PoE 1, right? But for these years, Path of Exile 1 wasn't really shining as bright as it could have been. And to be honest, I'm okay with how it was. But I would have played this game way more if um, there was many new maps. If there was extension real extension to the end game system and not just one or two or a couple um pinnacle bosses with some uber versions with a fresh league mechanic it's all good i love that they able to pump so much content with such a little team with such a small team um, devoted to the game and I know that they've expanded this team uh, for Trial of the Ancestors and for the next league so they've taken some people out of PoE 2 and um, relocated them or something like that I don't know exactly how that works in PoE of course nobody knows um, for sure but they've said that they've dedicated more people to it but uh, still the the quantity of updates and the quality of updates was more than okay. But the thought that we were playing on same, in same areas, in same locations, in our endgame, for more than three and four years for now, and we've had only a couple of new maps every league. We've had, we've had only two to three to sometimes zero new skills every new league. Whenever we could have had many problems solved in this game, if more designers were, and I'm not talking about people who are making rigs or 3D, or 3D models or stuff like that. I'm talking about someone who uh, actively changes balance and changes systems in PoE2. If some effort of, pe of those people or people who do um, work like that was... Um, on Path of Exile 1 and on resolving problems in PoE 1, I wouldn't be burnt out from the game as fast as I was all these recent years. And I was stuck with the feeling in the game whenever I was... Um, yeah, I'm playing SSF quite, mu quite much. I some sometimes play hardcore SSF and I sometimes play uh, softcore trade. But softcore trade, I can't really imagine how people are staying that much with that version of the game. Uh, I don't really feel myself feeling... Yeah, I don't really feel progression in Trade League um, post maybe 35-40 hours into the league whenever my character is almost... It's not maxed out, but it clears all the content. It clears all the, all the bosses... Maybe with exceptions, yeah, with exceptions of uber bosses and maybe sometimes with exception of Cyrus. But mostly in all the other times whenever I'm playing Trade League, it's so fast that you reach your end point, that you reach your highest um, point of your build. And I'm not playing, uh, I'm not playing meta builds. I'm not playing, I'm playing my own builds. Um, uh, that they are not really that good and uh, yes but but you still it's so fast for you to reach that moment whenever you don't really feel that you're progressing that much and you're already you're farming all content in the game and it's not even close to being somewhat challenging to you whenever you play in ssf or in hcssf situation is a bit better but even in solo self is in regular solo self found without one death only it takes me something close to 70 to 80 hours uh, to clear everything on one character without uber bosses. And uber bosses, to be honest, for me, they don't really feel like a new content. Yes, I understand that's a benchmark for your build and it's cool and all, but it's not new content. Whenever you've killed all pinnacle bosses, you've killed all the original content that game has for you to beat. 
Uber versions are just 70% less damage taken by boss. It's just for you to ramp your numbers up. They don't, and they do have some additional um, tactics and stuff, but it doesn't feel like you're completing something new. You're not in new locations. You don't fight new enemies. They look the same as you, as your as their regular versions. You're not progressing. At least I don't feel uh, the progression that much. I don't know if people are the same in this term like as, as me but still i feel burnt out uh, from the game after my first character on ssf even after 70 to 80 hours and i understand that it's not the combat that drives me out of the game it's not the feel of the game that doesn't have um, anything interesting inside the game uh, it's the samey things that i can do with my builds even though there's a bunch of different ways how you can build your character Many things like resource management, like your defenses, are being pretty samey on many different characters. The way that you build your auras, the belt, the way that you build your armor, evasion, spell suppression nowadays, all these systems were in similar place for all for minimum a year. Your mana problems were in the same spot for minimum two years. And I don't feel the no, the new feel from the maps that I'm completing because yeah they are I, I've seen them all for so many times there are not many of them new being added every single time every single league so yeah I, I just think that yeah the maintenance mode was upon us and maybe it will be better now so yeah thanks for watching have a good day bye